always back into camps, campsites because the hookups are always going to be on the left side, driver's side. And then cut it around to the left. No! Not yet! Tater! You need to swing it around this way. He should, why did he let the dogs out? Riggins. Tater tot. Tater tot. Why did you let the dogs out? Riggins. Poppy. Poppy. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Stop. Stop. Okay, so um, taking the cricket. Um, Un the, unhitching. Unhitching. So you don't have to worry about unless the, the trailer is going sideways with the back door opening up. And the first thing you want to do is you want to get the chalks. So when you're pulling up, you can get all this stuff out of here. This right here, I'm going to show you in a second. That is the fly. So if it's raining, then you have a place outside. And then important, the axe. And you can put this stuff right here, but I'm looking for the chalks. So here's one. We just have two. Shannon, go ahead and put one on that side. Go ahead and put it on that side, and I'll put it on the other side. On the back or the front of the tire? What do you, the back. So now you can disengage this and um, first things first, inside is the wheel and you just put it right here. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. And then crank it down just to where the wheel. Are you going clockwise or counterclockwise? You'll be able to figure that out. Can You're you going just... clockwise. So you get it to where it's just not going to fall off and then here's, this is real important. And this is to put it on too, because if you don't have this completely disengaged, the ball won't drop when you put it on. So you pull this up and go like that. That disengages it so the ball, uh, it can come off of the, uh, the tongue. And then you just crank it. And with those chalks that you just put in, then it won't roll back. And the cool thing is, so you see how it just stopped. The cool thing is, then when you move the car, this right here is going to show you where you're level. So you guys aren't, the blood's not rushing to your head while you're sleeping. Un there's, disconnect this. There's a bubble right there. Disconnect this. And this. And I just go like this so I don't have to bend over because I'm fat. And then in case it rains, I go like this with the seven point. And this seven point. Which is the plug. Is the plug. And when you plug this in. It will recharge the cricket within three hours and you'll have a full battery charge and I'll show you that in a little bit. So then I get in the car real quick, pull it forward, After pulling the car forward, John then cranks it down counterclockwise to get it level. You so, want to jack it up so you can pull the car out and then you just crank it down counterclockwise to get it level. And, and you know, if you're doing just a night trip to where you're just real quick pulling in somewhere, you don't even have to disconnect it if you don't want to unless you want to go travel around without the trailer. But after you do this, the one thing that I will say is it's better to get it tilted this way because we like to sleep with our heads on the back. So you don't want you don't want your feet above your head. And then after you do this, back here, and I keep it right here. This is the stabilizer. So it makes it to where when you're walking around and somebody's sleeping, it just it, the thing's not moving around so much. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And you don't have to go too crazy. If you're on soft ground, you can really crank it. You just get it to where it just...
gives it a little bit of uh, tension. And then and just I just leave it right here so I know where it's at. And then you can plug in your electrical. Now remember, you're running on DC power with it unplugged. So as soon as I plug this in or I have it in the car, it's charging two batteries. But this is how you do it, it's just right here. Plug it in, make sure the breaker's on, and then you're good to go. Next I'll show you the water. Okay, I use the box for everything utilitarian. Um, hoses and anything outside, tools, axes, hammocks, which will be in here. But right now we're gonna do water. And this right here is used for when you wanna fill up the reservoir when you're not camping at a site. And you can fill that up, I think it's like 25 gallons. So it's, it's a good amount. That's, if a you're... that's a separate video. Okay. So now for here, this is the amazing hose. So on the amazing hose, a lot of the campsites have super um, heavy PSI. So you have to have this on. It's just a pressure regulator. Wait, can we see? Can we get a shot of that again? Pressure, the regulator. Regulator, very important. Right there. So put the tip in right here. The non-pressurized tip. And for the lazy man, you can close it, turn it on. Watch what the hose does. It's amazing. Oh. Oh. Put it right here. And the um, the one thing is, then you can almost um, regulate the pressure through that. And that's just a backup so it doesn't blow out the plumbing. So this is for, and they call it shore power with energy and water, and then just turn this sucker on, and hopefully none of the things are on inside. That doesn't look good. There you go. That's it. It's gonna rain on you. You can pop, off, um, before you pop the top, you wanna go ahead and put the tarp on, and it's super easy and fast. It's in this red, red um, dry bag. And inside the bottom is, are some ropes and a stake. So, you go the length. So that's how long it is. And I've got carabiners right here. So, just hook it right here. And then, there's the other one. And then these things just pop out. So, what you do is you try to get it over it. Right here first. Over it. Over it. And over it. And then you just pull it super tight. Down to here. Right here, look at it. And then... While you're setting up, pull that, and they kind of stick. Pull that. And then with those ropes and the stake, Then you can put a pole right here, and I'll show you where that's at, and then stake it down with those ropes of the stake. Here. The poles are right here, inside. Take a pole. And this side's pretty self-explanatory. You just get it nice and tight. And then you got a nice place under there. This side right here is a little bit weird. You gotta make sure that you stake it going out this way because it's so close to the edge. That's the only weird thing. 
Otherwise, it's pretty easy. Look inside. It's great. Great for rainy days. Remember to enjoy where you're at. Now, the fly is up. So now we can pop the top. And that's only if it's raining that you can do this. Or that you want to do it. That you want to do it. You don't have to, but it's a good space. Now to pop the top. And you've probably seen this on the video. First thing, this. And I just put it right here on the cricket. Wait, can you demonstrate that again? Because no. you did it very fast. So it's in. Now take it off. Just pull it. Okay. Then I keep it here just so I don't lose it. And then this thing goes up and that's, then you're done. Now inside. Just turn the lights on and see if it helps. Right here. So the same as when you, when you take it down. So when you do um, crank this back down, all you have to do is worry about that you're not pinching the tent. So now we disengage that, disengage the same on this side, and then pop the top. All you have to do is then, now you're done. It's ready to go. You guys are basically moved in and you're set. And then you can also do that. Ta-da. Please have a snack.